Hi, Taylor here with Lawson Screen and Digital Products, and today we're going to be talking about how to properly dry your emotion-coded screens. It's important to get this right to avoid issues on press later. Make sure when you are in your screen room to filter any UV light because you don't want that coming down and starting the ex exposure process for your screens. Once you have coated your screens with the motion, it's very important to keep lint and dust from crash landing onto them. Lint and dust will cause pinholes in your screens and allow unwanted ink spots to ruin your garments. The best way to keep these lint invaders from attacking your screen is to use a closed screen drying cabinet. If one is not in your budget, you can also use a screen rack. You want to keep your screen room ideally between 70 and 90 degrees with a low humidity rate. Get some fans going to help circulate this warm, less humid air. This will help your screens dry quicker. Also make sure to wipe down any surfaces as dust is going to collect and you want your circulating air to be dust free. A screen drying cabinet like the Procure make it very easy to control temperature, humidity, and timing while drying your screens. Setting up your darkroom using the process we just described will help you get great screens for your screen printing production. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more screen printing tips.